Welcome to the City Show. Pat O'Melia here. Are you there? That's why we do this show. To educate you, inform you, maybe entertain you a little bit, bring you up to date on what's going on. It is early voting is open. Now, you know, normally I wait until Election Day and we do the endorsements. Uh, we're going to do them a week early because of early voting. Uh, so that's, that's going to be the theme of today. We're going to do a lot of the endorsements. Um, one of the interesting thing is the race for governor where Chitterelli, we had him in here on our Shore Show. You, you see a clip of the Shore Show when you look at the Murphy Commercial Extreme. That closing clip is from this very studio here. It looks like Chitterelli is closing that gap. Do I think he's going to beat Murphy? No. But I don't think it's going to be the double-digit win that we all thought it was a month ago. For that matter, there was one poll of um, voters who, uh, who are definitely going to vote on Election Day. Murphy was only up by 2%. This could get a, lot, get a lot tighter than we expect. And Murphy could be being pulled down by what's going on with the gas prices, immigration, the empty shell, inflation, a lot of things that are out of Murphy's control, but he could be taken down by that. Uh, like I said, early voting is open now. Uh, you can't make it. I'm going election day. I'm dying the wool, the old style. I want to go in and press the buttons on election day. Uh, if you are unsure of who you want to vote for, in Hoboken and or Jersey City, the studio here, we have produced 10 debates. <laughs> we produced eight for Jersey City, all the wards, an at-large, and of course the mayoral, and we did two at-large debates for Hoboken. So go to our YouTube or our live stream, you'll see all the debates there, watch them, fast forward through, back it up, whatever you want to do. We did that so you can make an informed decision. And like I said, when we come back, we're going to talk some debates and some politics. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. Jersey City Medical Center is healing, enhancing, and investing in Hudson County because your heart doesn't beat just for you. So get it checked. When your bones are healthy, it lifts us all. We're delivering joy daily in our Lord Abbott Maternity Wing and providing New Jersey's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. We'll continue building our medical network and taking every precaution for your safety so that we can all be healthy together. Did you know Jersey City was one of the first in the country to take action on the coronavirus? Face masks mail to everyone. The first to offer free COVID testing. And Mayor Fulop also got direct cash relief to help residents pay rent and small businesses stay open. Now he's working to vaccinate as many residents as possible with vaccine centers in every neighborhood and free Uber rides for seniors. Steve Phillip is my kind of mayor. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, Jersey City. Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. We're back. Doesn't it look official when you do this? You bring back the old newscaster days and getting your papers in order. We're back. City Show, Pat O'Melia here. Are you there? Let me click my pen. It's kind of my thing now since the debates. Endorsements. You have a lot going on. You got the governor's race. You got state senate. You got your assembly, you got a county seat that's up, uh, you know, you got questions. There's two questions concerning gambling uh, this year. Uh, hopefully you have your ballot. As of right now, I don't have my ballot for Jersey City. Hopefully when the mailman comes today, I'll have my ballot for who to vote for, but since I'm kind of well-schooled in the world of politics here, I don't know who's running and I know what the questions are. Uh, so what we want to do, this may be one of our elected officials trying to reach me. No, that's why I have these things kept here because I told him I was doing endorsements today. I'm going to start with the 31st District. My buddy, Sandra Cunningham, is running for re-election. I think we go with Sandra again. She has done a good job in Trenton. She has done a great job for anybody who ever needed a second chance. Anybody who uh, had a, a history, uh, law enforcement involvement, you know, she's one of the people that pushed that off the application. Sandy has done a very good job in Trenton, and I strongly recommend that we send Tran Sandy Cunningham back to Trenton. 
I'm saying we send Angela McKnight back. I think she's done a good job, especially when it comes to law enforcement interaction. She's pushing hard for the CCRB. I'm not a, I think we should have one. I don't think every city should have one. I just think in, in Hudson County, we should have a countywide civilian complaint review board where every municipality gets a, 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 an appointment on there and you make sure everybody's from the world of uh, law. From, uh, from an attorney standpoint, from a judge, to law enforcement, all these aspects should be on there. Nothing against, again, I'm one of the civic warriors, I'm nothing against uh, the civic association. When you're making decisions on somebody's law enforcement career, I want people who understand law enforcement in and out, what it's like to be out on that street, what it's like to be in those courtrooms, what it's like to be charged, that's what I want to say. Uh, and I'm going to go with the rookie in the 31st district, uh, Sampson. Let's see what this kid can do. He's kind of like from my old field. I was in transportation before I got into uh, media with radio and the old wrestling tonight days. And then I went to the Jersey City show and the Hudson County show. And eventually we got into television. Uh, he's from um, the ports, uh, crane operator, picking those containers up. Must be doing pretty good because we don't have a big backlog of ships on the East Coast like they do on the West Coast. 32nd district. Probably, the, definitely, probably the best mayor we have in Hudson County. He's in that top three with Stack, Pullup, and uh, Sacco. You can, you can pretty much go 1A, one, one 1B, one whatever you want to do there. For State Senate, Nick Sacco. People say, well, that's dual jobs. You can't send a better person to Trenton than somebody who has to put together a budget for a municipality. These guys and gals who go down to Trenton who are mayors, they understand what it takes to put that budget together. They're what we call the feet on the ground. A lot of the people in Trenton have never put a friggin' budget together in a career. Sacco, Brian Stack, across the street, these guys understood it. I remember with Glenn Cunningham. Sending Glenn Cunningham down to Trenton was one of the best things that happened to Jersey City. We took knowledge of somebody who knows how to run a municipality and sent him to Trenton with that kind of background. Uh, I'm going with Sacco, Angelica, and Pedro, right across the board, that, that 32nd district ticket, let's go with them. The 31st, the man I just mentioned before, the deity from Union City, Brian Stack. Again, whichever way you want to rank these guys, Sacco, full up, Stack, Stack, Sacco, full up. They are 1, 1A, one 1B, one whatever way you want to put them. They're the three heavyweights of uh, Hudson County here of municipal leaders. Uh, like I've said many times with Sacco, you want to be a good mayor today, whatever Nick does, you do tomorrow. Brian is right there. Uh, always short on money, but he knows how to get money from Trenton, which is good when you're a state senator, you understand where the money is, and you can bring that home to Union City and his district, and he does that. He brings the money home for Union City and Hoboken and Weehawken. He gets the job done. So there is no denying uh, Brian Stack for re-election. Uh, again, uh, Sacco and Stack, ideal people to have in Trent. They understand how municipal government works. They understand what it's like to put together a budget, real budget. They are the guys that make decisions on law enforcement, DPW. They understand the importance of that budget and getting money from Trent. And nobody knows how to get money better than uh, Brian Stack. Only one that was better than Stack over the years was Joe Doria. Uh, I'm going to go with Stack, Raj, and uh, Shapiro again. Let's go right across the board. When you go in in those districts, just click them. You've got good leadership there right across the board in Trenton from, from our state senators in Hudson County and our assembly people. Excellent. All right, we're going to break the commercial. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. I've got cancer. We've got the highest level of cancer care. The latest clinical trials. Researchers working to find a cure. And there's navigators to guide you every step in the way. At New Jersey's only NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Center, your safety has always been our top priority. I've got cancer, but I also have peace of mind. Jersey City Medical Center and Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Let's beat cancer together. It knows you. It dials into your preferred settings. It has an array of driver assist technology. Cameras and sensors enhance your awareness and provide you with additional control. But it's more than cutting edge technology. It's the spirit of it. It's a Mustang. We're back, Pat O'Melia here. You there, we're still continuing endorsements. I'm going with my lukewarm coffee. I finally remembered to bring coffee made in. 
I get the liquid kind. It lasts a long time in the refrigerator. I don't like the powdered thing. Yeah, you got to put a lot of powder in there. Uh, County-wise, we're doing endorsements. We're going to continue on endorsements. We just finished our, um, our slate of uh, the state uh, leaders we have here. Again, Sacco, Stack, Cunningham, all their assembly people. I think there's only one county seat up, and that's for the county register. And that is one of my old studio divas, Jeff Dublin. I'm strongly recommending we vote for Jeff. I think Jeff will do a good job. He was a good um, television host when he was in the studio in the old days. Hopefully we can get him back in the studio. Now I'm going to walk over to Hoboken. I don't know a lot of the at-large. I'm going to go with Ravi. There is really no choice. He's, he's running unopposed. And that's sad when we talk about Hoboken, a city that has politics in its blood. I mean, politics is a blood sport. In Hoboken, I have nobody opposing the mayor. So they, everybody seems to be quite happy, I guess, with the job Ravi has done. I'm going to go with it. Let's go with Ravi again. Give him another four years. The at lodges. I don't know a lot of these people. I was in. I know Pat Waiters. She's an old civic warrior. She's been around a long time. Um, I, I like some of the uh, the independents. You know, again. You got the debates on our YouTube and live stream channels. You can go check them out. I don't know, so I, I'm going to give Ravi the benefit of the doubt here. I'm going to endorse Ravi's ticket. Uh, good continuity there. It's unlike the, the ward council, where I, you know, I know uh, Tiffany and Jennifer and Mike Tafusco and Mike Russo. Those guys, when we get into those, yeah, that might be different uh, endorsement. But I'm going to give Ravi the, uh, the, the city at large. Uh, candidates he wants. Uh, Ravi is in, you know, again, I, 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 I said, must have done a great job. Nobody's going to run against him. And you, you got 10 people running for at large. Not one of them thought about running for mayor. And the same thing with the ward people. You know, they don't see Jen or Tiffany or Mike Russo or Mike DeFusco running. So everybody must be very happy with the job that um, Ravi has done there. The only thing I would say on the ticket, if you're going to consider power, uh, waiters, uh, as you're going in there, eh, think about it. You know, I'm big on the Civic Warriors. And you know, she has been doing it forever. So she's worth consideration. But again, you can go with uh, Robbie's entire at-large ticket. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I like Patricia. You know, she was in here. As soon as she walked in, I said, oh, I know her. Um, uh, Soft spot in my heart for all the Civic Warriors. Jersey City. My hometown. Now, I'm a little prejudiced here when I talk about the candidates for Ward. I've worked with a lot of these people over the years. They've all been in the studio. You know, it's hard for me to go with their opponents. You know, I've seen the work they've done. They've been in the studio. We've done civic stuff together. I help them get their message out off election times when it's just basically getting the information out to the public. And I, and I see what they're working on, what they're trying to do with their wards. It's a very successful administration. You know, we're going to talk about with the mayor what was accomplished over the years. Every accomplishment that Mayor Fulop has, believe me, it came with these guys, or gals in this case. And Ward A, Denise Ridley has done the job. And I, I believe in competition. It's good for the campaign, it's good for the soul, that sort of thing. Denise has done the job. I have absolutely no concerns about endorsing Denise again. You know, I, I, Denise has been in the studio since the, uh, the studio on Central Avenue 10, 12 years ago. Again, she came from the world of civics, moved her way up into uh, the election mode. She ran four years ago, she won. I believe she'll win again. B, Mary. Get Mary's picture up there. Mary's in the studio all the time. For that matter, she's going to be doing a monthly uh, live update. Um, it usually does around 2, 3 o'clock, then you can catch it later. Uh, she takes questions uh, from Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, she, she interviews various uh, department heads in the city, something all the uh, ward council should be doing. You know, it, it's good to do the in-person stuff. But virtually, you can get into everybody's living room 
Who doesn't know how to stream anymore? Everybody's got the YouTube, everybody's got Facebook, everybody's got Twitter and live stream. It's the easiest way to, to get your point across, get your message out. And that's one of the things we should be utilizing the studio more for going forward is getting the message out to uh, the people of Jersey City. We're going to break for commercial and I'll continue with the endorsements. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. When you have three children who are police officers, you worry about them every day. But you are also proud. Under Mayor Fulop, 70% of new officers in Jersey City have been minorities. Mayor Fulop also upgraded our public safety cameras with over 200 new cameras and body cameras on officers, protecting citizens and police officers. Steve Fulop is my kind of mayor. Jersey City Medical Center has a passion for heart health. We're Hudson County's only full-service heart hospital with innovative technologies and premier cardiovascular physicians, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements, and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. Jersey City Medical Center. We're back, Pat O'Melia here, City Show, you there, trying to entertain you, inform you, that sort of thing. Like I said, Ward B with Mary, go with Mary. You know, she's done the job, and it's probably a very difficult job too, especially in uh, Ward B where there's always been a strong female presence there on the council, going back to my old buddy, Mary Donnelly, uh, to Mary Spinello. It's, we, we like people whose names begin with M in Ward B. And Mary, she, you watch in the next four years, she's going to be fighting to get restaurants down there, more retail in Ward B. Ward B is uh, the west side is the best side. Well, Mary's one of the people who are trying to do that. So I strongly endorse Mary for re-election. Ward C, my friend for, uh, I guess, about 30 years, again, like I said earlier about civic warriors, Richie Borgiano. Richie is a civic warrior, and there's people talking about Richie selling out. <laughs> Richie will never sell out Ward C. I don't care if he's on Fulop's ticket or if he was off Fulop's ticket. Richie is Ward C through and through. He is a Jersey City guy. And Richie will never let you down. Richie is going to work hard for you, as he has for the last two terms when he ran as independent. But it gets to the point where, you know, you work with May Fulop. Again, look at what has happened in this city. There are huge changes going on. Richie's been there for eight years. Anybody who tells you that Richie sold out is full of it. No one is more dedicated to the people of Ward C than Richie Borgiano. This guy is a legend in Ward C, hilltop legend. He is there. You make a call, you're going to get Richie. Now, Zupa, I think Zupa has a future in Jersey City. It's not now, but it's, it's down the line. For that matter, I wouldn't mind getting Zupa involved in the studio. with um, He's a prosecutor, and attorney. Uh, getting Richie uh, the super involved with our um, uh, uh, New Jersey at large, Hudson County at large, whatever that, whatever title we want to put it, where we profile uh, wanted criminals. Uh, I can see using Zupa that way. Kevin Bing, yeah, good kid, um, but you know somebody's got to finish third in, in my mind anyway. So I'm going again, strongly endorse Richie Borgiano. You can't get more dedication from your elected leaders than Richie. Richie was a leader in Ward C before he was elected. And anybody, again, I cannot emphasize this enough. There is no way Richie is a sellout. You know, full up nose going full through. He's gonna have some headaches with Richie when it comes to Ward C, but that's how Richie is. Richie is going to stand up as he always has for so many decades for the people of Ward C. Ward D, I'm gonna go with Yousef. Uh, the young lady running against him, Danielle, uh, she's got to show me more. You cannot go through a debate and not answer questions. Yeah, it, it, the whole platform seems, in my opinion, to be independent, and somebody uh, harassed her, saying uh, you can't run for election. You know, it, if that is the case, fill out a police report, and let's find out exactly what happened there. But Yusef, in his short term, filling in for uh, Michael, the late Michael Hume, the guy's done the job i got to make sure Richie gets the parking meters put back in the right places on Central Avenue. 
uh, well, I say Richie, Yousef. Uh, Yousef has done the job. Let's see what he can do with a full term. I'm strongly endorsing Yousef in Ward Day. Ward E, I have not endorsed a candidate since Mayor Fuller in Ward E. I didn't, you know, I stayed out of it when Candace Osborne won. I stayed out of it when um, uh, James Solomon won. I produced the debates, but I stayed out of it. endorsements. I'm going to follow that. I've known Solomon for since he's been Ward E. I've known Jake uh, pretty much since the uh, Ward E uh, debate four years ago. You can't go wrong with either. If you want good continuity on the council, uh, you want a nice, smooth running council, I would go with Jake. I think Jake would be fine. But Rich, uh, James Solomon has already proven himself there. So uh, again, I've never endorsed in, uh, in E in the last eight years. I'm not going to start now. In F, I'll go with Jermaine. Again, if there is so much investment going on in Ward F, uh, from public safety buildings to the annex to uh, there's a renaissance going on. And you just can't give that all to Mayor Fuller. That happened with everybody on our council. Even, you know, Rolando and Solomon, they all had a hand in what's happening there. So you can't begrudge, Jermaine, all the positive that's gone on in Ward F and throughout the city. He is part of that team. He is part of the people who have made that happen. You will not go wrong with re-electing Jermaine. Yeah, I'm impressed with uh, Gilmore. He impressed me quite a bit. There's a future there for that guy, but I don't think that future is today. I think for continuity and to move the city continue its move forward, I think you need Jermaine. All right, we're going to break for commercial. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. Jersey City Medical Center is healing, enhancing, and investing in Hudson County because your heart doesn't beat just for you. So get it checked. When your bones are healthy, it lifts us all. We're delivering joy daily in our Lord Abbott Maternity Wing and providing New Jersey's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. We'll continue building our medical network and taking every precaution for your safety so that we can all be healthy together. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River offers a quality of life you deserve in one of our many high-rise towers. With amenities such as the on-site Newport Path, Light Rail, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Kohl's, J.C. Penney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams and Acme Supermarket are just outside your front door. A health and fitness center, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. Enjoy the New York skyline from our waterfront and various parks. Manhattan is just one path stop away, or a quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. Tall screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Looking to visit? Stay at the Westin or Marriott Hotel. For more information, visit us at NewportNJ.com. Make lasting memories to cherish forever. It's incredible. It's you, Newport. Live like you want. We're back. Last segment. And we did have other things, but I think I'm gonna, it's going to be an endorsement show all the way along. We go to Council at Lodge. First off, if you don't make the debates, you're not getting an endorsement. Simple as that. People are taking the time out to go to all the at-large debates. I commend you. I congratulate you. You, you have you know, uh, my thanks for confronting your, uh, your constituents, the people you want to represent, listening to them, hearing their ideas, whether it's positive, whatever happened to you at those debates or forums, I commend you for attending. Anyone who does not attend a debate doesn't deserve an endorsement. So that said, for at large, I'm going to go with Danny Rivera. Danny's been uh, at large for eight years. Danny is great with the kids. He's a coach. He is dedicated to Jersey City. He is a guy that is always there. Whatever the event is, whatever the situation is, Danny Rivera is there. I have absolutely no qualms endorsing that man. Amy DeGees. Known Amy for a long, long time. Uh, Tommy DeGis' daughter, she is the head of the Hudson County Democratic Organization. She is a teacher. Uh, she is a former Board of Education. She's won the election. She's been a leader uh, throughout Jersey City for many years. It kind of goes into family there from her, her Aunt Lois in the old, old days to her dad, Tommy DeGis. 
Uh, you will not go wrong with Amy DeGeese as a counsel at large. She's a real organized person, very enthusiastic. You will see a lot of Amy DeGeese around Jersey City if she's elected. Well, you see a lot of her around Jersey City now when she's not elected, so you'll see a lot more. And my third will be Chris Gatson. Now, Chris, again, is a former, one of my former studio divas here from when he was Award B. Uh, we used to do the show The B-Side. He is dedicated. He's honest. I think he would make a great counsel at large. I strongly uh, recommend that you vote for Chris Gatson. You won't go wrong there. Now, let's get to the big, the big guy. We have two candidates for mayor. Of course, Mayor Stephen Fulop and Lewis Spears. Lewis needs more time to bake. He needs more time in Jersey City. I know he's running some organizations for uh, youth. He's got to get out more into the world of civics. There's, there's, we talk about Zupa having a future. Spears has a future. But that future is not now, not for the next four years. I don't care who. You ever wonder why? Bigger names didn't run against Fulop this time because he has done the job. He has done the job since he has become the mayor. Right off the bat with stable taxes, he's managed to do that. But when you look at the entire totality of Mayor Fulop's work from consolidating departments, getting away from um, uh, the autonomous agencies, consolidated the fire department, the police department, Jersey City Parking Authority, which is now enforcement under one roof. He, he uh, dissolved the JCIA and moved that in to uh, the DPW. That is savings to the city of Jersey City. Major investments all through the city. You know, he, again, he's one of the, the Glenn Cunningham tree. You know, when we talk about the Bill Parcells coaching tree, you know, there, there was the Glenn Cunningham tree. He's one of them. And he has the same dedication to Ward F. He has made more investments in Ward F than uh, even Glenn or Brett Shunla. Every, you know, the hub was put there by Brett Shunla. The Vuthun Center was Brett Shunla. Steve Fulop is doing the same thing. He is making a, he is forcing a renaissance in Ward F. He is forcing a renaissance throughout the city. And we are enjoying that renaissance. Whether it's, you know, um, uh, Bayfront, you got new police stations, he is Mr. Parks. This guy has opened more parks than his, his administrative mayor than any other mayor in Jersey City. That pesky city bike, uh, that's his bayfront, is going to be huge. That's uh, C. Fulop. You know, you got the police department at uh, near all-time levels. I don't know if Fulop would get back to like the 1,230, but we're getting close there. The Lowe's Theater in Pompidou, for 20 years we didn't do anything with the Lowe's. Here we are, we got something going with the Lowe's. The school budget, he's, he's going to do something with that school budget going forward. But abatements, he hasn't given out one in two years. But yet, development continues in Jersey City. You got the stable taxes. He's made the investments in water and sewer, especially on the uh, southern end of Jersey City. There is water and sewer upgrades going on left and right. He's done a balancing act, trying to keep the needs of all the residents of Jersey City. Some want art, some want the water, some want more police. So whatever it is, every ward has its needs, and Phillips keeping all the balls in the air, trying to keep everybody satisfied. You cannot question his leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic. He was one of the first ones to take steps to protect the residents of Jersey City. He's given everyone in the City Hall a living wage of at least $15 an hour, and there's a reason your properties are worth the money they are now. Your home value is pretty good, and that's Mayor Fuller. You know, we all complain about taxes. You never hear anybody complain about what their value of their home is worth now. That's my endorsements. Please vote for those people. You'd be good. You'd be safe. Don't forget to vote. Talk to you next week. Good night.